just dessert. Oh, I can't wait. This is the tomato soup cake. Tomato soup cake? Butter and sugar starts it in your stand mixer. And what you do is, like a standard cake, you're just creaming the butter and sugar together, getting them all nice and happy and mixed. For DeLegge's tomato soup cake. Tomato soup cake. It's like a spice cake. I think you've lost your marbles. You add spice and your flour, baking soda into another pan, and then you take your Campbell's tomato soup. You add the tomato soup into your butter and sugar. Then you slowly add in your dry ingredients. Spray your pan. And your hair. (laughs) And just like a typical cake, a typical spice cake Mm -hmm. recipe, you just pour it into the pan and bake it. And you cannot taste the tomato soup at all. It just adds to the... um, It's just a very nice... The overall yum factor? Oh, yes. Yeah. It slices so nicely. Mm. And It looks uh, good. It turns out beautifully. That looks good. Pops right out because you sprayed your pan. I imagine Will's going to get to have a bite of this, too. (laughs) I like to add um, some frosting on top of that, which is cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese frosting and spice cake kind of go together. It looks like a spice cake, which is one of my favorite cakes because it's not too sweet. It is so delicious and moist and the tomato soup just adds that little extra what is that what is that in there taste, flavor taste get the recipe on tasting the and if you have a recipe for a great spice cake or any cake send it to us and you could win what you can win a One wonderful try st- tasting the tri-state grocery list from promark i would love to have a little taste of that oh uh, uh <laughs> I mean, 